Good morning everyone. It is Friday morning again. It's hard to believe that we're back to Friday again already. And we're just going to come and read together Psalm 6 this morning. So let's read this psalm together. O oh Lord, don't rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. Have compassion on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. I am sick at heart. How long, O Lord, until you restore me? Return, O Lord, and rescue me. Save me because of your unfailing love. For the dead do not remember you. Who can praise you from the grave? I am worn out from sobbing. All night I flood my bed with weeping, drenching it with my tears. My vision is blurred by grief. My eyes are worn out because of all my enemies. Go away, all you who do evil, for the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord will answer my prayer. May all my enemies be disgraced and terrified. May they suddenly turn back in shame. Amen. It's the end of Psalm 6. Just 10 little verses. Um, but incredible. And in it, the psalmist, the game we think is David, he realises that he is in the wrong. He realises that he's not right. Um, you know, it says, um, heal my bones, O Lord. And he talks about, don't rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. He's looking for compassion. He's looking for grace. Um, he realises that God has every right to be angry with him. God has a very right to um, judge him and to punish him. But he asks God to show mercy. We're the same. If we're honest, we know that we do things which are not right. We know that we are sinners. Um, and even when if we are followers of Christ, whenever we are Christians, whatever you want to call it, we know that, again, we still do things that are wrong. And we still deserve to be punished for them. But we have God's grace. We know what Christ has done for us. We know that because of that, our sins are forgiven. Our sins are covered. But we still have to try. We still have to do the best that we can to live each day for God. And to try our best not to do these things. But we will sometimes stumble. We will sometimes get it wrong. We will still do things that we shouldn't do. But we need to do what David that the psalmist did here. We need to come back to God. We need to recognise that and just ask him for his compassion, ask him for his grace. Because we know that he will give it to us. He promises that. Um, again, later on in the Psalms, we'll read such like, um, as far as the east is from the west, um, so far have you removed my sins from me. Uh, and we know that Jesus sits and intercedes for us, as it says, at the right hand of God. So we have forgiveness we have grace because of what christ has done for us that's a wonderful news but we still need to be honest with god we still need to tell him how we're feeling and what we've done just as the psalmist does here let's pray about being honest pray about um being close to god and having that sense where we can tell him everything Let's pray about that now. Let's also pray about um, the announcement yesterday and the executives starting to say about how churches can start and open up again from the week commencing the 29th of June. We're still waiting for details on that. We're still waiting for what exactly they mean by that. Um, we haven't heard that yet. Um, but let's just pray for those who are starting to make those decisions, uh, those who are starting to give us the guidance that it would be wise and sensible uh, and, and something that we can work our way through. So let's come and let's pray together this morning. Heavenly Father, thank you again for your word. Thank you again that we can read it and we can share it together um, without fear of persecution, without fear of arrest. Lord, with the freedom that we have to be able to do this, we thank you for that. And Lord, we thank you that this message then can go out right away around the world. Uh, and we pray that your word does spread, that many would hear it and would believe it. Lord, again, thank you for the psalmist and what he talks about, his honesty. Lord, help us to be honest with you. Help us to be open uh, with you and, and to tell you exactly how we're feeling and what we've done. Help us to be able to pour out that, that sense that, you know, we've got 
we've got it wrong, but knowing that you will forgive us. And Lord, we do ask for your grace in every circumstance. Um, Lord, we think about that, that praise song which says, your grace is enough. And we know that it is. And, and we just ask that you give us that grace day by day and just get that sense of your presence. Father, for those now who are starting to work through what it means for us to get back into church again, please give them wisdom. As they look at the guidance, as they look at the regulations, as they look at what's being said, Lord, may it be passed on wisely and, and in a timely fashion down to churches so that we can start to organise. Um, and Lord, help us to be sensible in church. Help us to be um, responsible and to look out for those who are still vulnerable at this time and to do things in a way which protects everyone and not endangers. We do welcome the news, Lord. Just help us to, to carefully work through it, we pray. So, Lord, thank you again for this day. Thank you that again we're at Friday. Uh, as we head into Friday, Lord, and into the weekend, we ask that you be with us, that you would look after us and care for us and bless us, that we would really have a real sense of your presence with us. So, Father, we thank you now and always. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me this morning. Um, this Friday, so I won't be streaming tomorrow morning with it being Saturday. I'll be back on Sunday morning again at 11 o'clock. And then it'll be replicated. It'll get put up again then on, on YouTube as well. But in the meantime, take care. God bless and see you soon.